This is a uh, posting uh, video response uh, to uh, My Misery and Me. It's about um, being the cause of higher level organisms to become, to, to come into existence. Now, it is of my opinion that it is best to try to live as best as one can, minimizing the amount of harm and suffering that occurs throughout the world. And I believe one individual has the power to decrease the amount that suffering of events that involve an organism, a, a developed organism, to experience suffering. Now, it's good if you have a pet, such as a cat or a dog or a bird or a rabbit, or that you don't breed your animals. The reason I'm saying that is because when you cause an animal to have to, to come into existence by intentionally allowing them to breed or making them breed, you're causing another organism that has the capacity to feel over its lifetime the experiences of suffering. So if you have a cat, a kitty, or a doggy, a puppy, please get it spayed, spayed or neutered. You can take it to the Humane Society or a clinic or an animal shelter that where you live and have the animal um, make it so that the animal cannot breed. If it's a male, then they just do a simple operation where they cut the vas deferens, tie them off. If it's a, if it's a female cat, they'll usually cut the tubes you know, to the ovaries. And it's painless, pretty much the animal is a happy animal. The animal might, you know, be less aggressive, less territorial, have a need, uh, less of a need to wander around the area. If you have a male cat, then they'll stay closer to home. Spray, they won't spray as much. And a female, of course, won't have any kittens. And you don't want, the, you don't want to breed animals because now if, there's a, if the animal breeds, then more animals come into existence that have to be cared for. And right now, in our, in, in, throughout the world, there is a problem with uh, animal overpopulation for uh, domestic pets. Now, another thing one can do is one can avoid eating meat or tapering off meat and then tapering off animal products such as milk, eggs, uh, cheese. Um, because what happens is that when you ingest meat or animal products, you're having a farmer or, or a rancher having to breed that animal and make that animal come into existence. And when, that, when, you, when you eat the f flesh or you eat the product of that animal, you're causing that animal to suffer by having to be bred into existence. So by limiting your diet to plant-based by trying at least moving towards a plant-based diet in your lifestyle, you will remediate some of the suffering in the world. Or you will not cause suffering to come about in the world by having a, uh, a, a, a farmer raise an animal to, for meat that you eat and that animal has to live and exist so that you can have the, the products from that animal. Now the other thing that one can do is seriously think about your life path and, and what the economical, political, ecological um, situation is on the planet right now. And if you were given a choice, let's say you didn't exist and then you came into existence just for a moment and a flash of a moment with all your faculties and you could choose whether or not to be born onto this world right now as it is in this time would you choose that 
Now, think about when a baby is born, that baby is a unique, independent, individual consciousness. And starting a new life by using your body with another person's body and, and mingling the genomes, to, mingling the DNA together to make a new person is a very, very, very serious endeavor. Not something to be just, oh, to be taken lightly because there are many, many, many children who are born that aren't properly given a chance to live a good life, a, a decent life, a happy life, a good, well, taking care of child. One billion people, plus or minus so many hundreds of thousands, are living every day they, they don't even have enough to eat. Not only this part of the equation is also when that person comes into existence, it's just not a baby forever. The baby grows up, the baby has to live a life and to make choices and to deal with the, all of the things happening in the world. So my humble opinion, it's best to take to it's best to be antinatalist. And if one has the resources and and has the capability of supporting a child, one should seriously think about taking on a child and adopting a child. Find out where you can adopt a child from um, a, a place, an orphanage, where these are children that need help. They need to be, they need a, fa a family. They need a, a good mother or a good dad to raise them, to help them through their life in the world. So that's a big plus. If you can, if you can not bring another person onto the world, into the earth, then that has greatly reduce the amount of suffering that happens. So anyhow, that's my take on the um, anti-natalist position. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.